Welcome to the channel. My name is Matt, and I am the Comedic Carpenter. Today, we're looking at what may be one of Amazon's finest products. The FireCore Professional Laser Level Pole. I'm excited. I'm flying loose on this one, folks. I don't have any plan here. I just got this. Haven't even unboxed it yet. We'll open it up, take a look at it, take it from there. But first, we gotta take care of some business, folks. We gotta do this, I'm sorry. If you like what you see here today, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button too. That subscribe button gets lonely sometimes. They're like a team, okay? They need equal love. It should just be one button, frankly. Also, leave a comment, let me know what you think. I like to keep the dialogue open here, okay? This is a conversation, it's not one-sided. It helps me stay motivated, questions, thoughts, concerns, opinions, whatever, put it down there. And lastly, head to the website, comedicarpenter.com. Sign up for the mailing list. It's totally free. I'll send you things here and there periodically. Okay, I think we're ready to get into this. If you're like me, you use a laser all the time. I use this all the time. But this video isn't about the laser. It's about how I mount it. I have two different poles right now, both of which I'm unsatisfied with. So I saw this. I've been eyeing this up on Amazon for a while. It's the FireCore Professional laser level pool. That's what they sell it as. It's only for professionals. If you're an amateur, stay away. It's kind of some mixed reviews. 90 bucks. I figured I'd give it a shot. Okay, let's get into this unboxing. I don't want to take a lot of your time. I'm flying off the seat of my pants here. I got no plan. I'm over here. I'm over there. I'm doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Ah! My favorite label on any package, the old made in China. Who doesn't love that? The box was made in China. The product is made in China. The tape was probably made in China. What is this world coming to? I'm a psychopath in real life. I'm a psycho, I'll cut you. Hold on. I'm not sure how this box works. And do both ends, folks, both ends. This end was half open. Yeah, I'll go down this side here. So we've got, of course we have our lovely instructions. It does come in a bag, which is nice. A FireCore branded bag. Does it get any better than that? All right, I'm just gonna explain quickly. My big issue with these, these poles, it's right here. The bracket in the center. I, it's like where I need my laser most of the time. It just happens to be right in the way, so I can't mount it there. What I like about this one, at least just from looking at the pictures, it's just sec separate sections of pole that you screw together so there's no obstructions in the center. Everything's kind of got its own little spot. Here's the bracket, a little pouch there. And there's another little pouch here that has the foot, the ceiling foot, I believe. And then you have four, five sections of pole. Five sections of pole. Should I read the instructions on this? I might have to. So this is the connection method. It's very lightweight, right off the bat. Very, very thin. I don't know, I don't know that that needs, I mean, I don't want some super heavy thing, but definitely thin. Tripod, cheap as I expected. I will say, there's not a lot on the market when it comes to laser poles. Okay, so that's the unboxing portion here. Five sections of pole, a tripod, the actual laser bracket here, and then a little foot, I believe this goes on the ceiling. Top of the pole goes up to the ceiling. I don't want a huge base. Actually, surprisingly, surprisingly uh, wobble-free. We shall reconvene. I just spent the better part of eh, 10 minutes or so putting this together. There's not a lot to it. It's very light. That's my first analysis. Very light. Tripod is not that great. Are we surprised here? Overall, it's an interesting design. There's something going on with this foot pedal. There's like a little foot pedal down here. And then you push that <laughs> into the floor, I guess, and it there's a spring here. Then I guess it's supposed to, I don't even know what it does. I think it's supposed to like pinch this up to the ceiling. I don't know. So we've established that it's pretty cheesy. The tripod, I mean, it's not that. This part here actually locks pretty well. 
So that's pretty solid. But down here, see if this locked as well, it would actually be a pretty rigid tripod, but this is just loosely floating here. So what do I think? Well, let's put a laser on here. This is um, another issue. Um, another issue I have with this. You have to put the little, you gotta put the nut screw thing, mounting plate. You have to screw it into here and then leave it in there. I don't like that. And then it connects. There's a another, I think that's quarter 20 that screws into the bottom, but I don't like that because I want to take it off and set it on the floor. Then I got to take that little mounting nut off. Fairly rigid, actually. I mean, the pole wobbles, but the actual bracket, not bad. Not bad. We've established that it's kind of cheap. So let's talk about the actual mount for this laser. I just like to be able to set it on there and screw it on. And I could with this into the quarter. All right, actually, I wasn't thinking. Looks like I can just go right into the quarter inch slot. Okay, that's not so bad. So not having to use that, I can go right into the quarter inch mount. I like this concept, having, it's got a handle, you can do your big adjustments, okay, and then lock it down. And it's got locking knob here, and then you can do your fine adjustments with this knob here. <clears throat> but what I'm noticing is that when you go to lock it in, it kind of moves the laser up a little bit, throwing your... I mean, it's probably pretty insignificant, but I like that. It locks actually quite well. I can't even move it. Locks very well. Can't move it. Let's turn this on. I wonder if it does move. I don't think it moves much when you lock this in. It tilts it up a little bit, but it locks it in pretty good. Where are we at? What more can I really say here? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm torn here. Half of me wants to just box it up and send it back. The other half wants to put it to work. And I think I might just give it a shot. I do like that it breaks down and all stores in the bag. It's kind of nice. It's easier to store short things rather than the long poles that I have. I still don't quite get this foot thing. There's also a little bubble vial there. Ooh, dead level. Can you believe it? There's one down here too on the tripod. Another bubble level. Honestly, I don't really know how much rigidity, you, how much you need from a laser pole. It's kind of nice to be able to move it around. The other ones I have, you have to go between the ceiling and the floor. All right, what's my final thoughts? Here? All right, my final thoughts on the fire core. I think I'm going to put it to work. I'll give it a shot. Like I said, there's not much on the market and I have three of them right now, including this one. Maybe I'll do like a, maybe I'll do a 90 day update on this. See how it's going in 90 days. Well, that's it. I'm going to put that to work. I'm going to go eat. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Well, my friends, after using the FireCore laser pole for a week, I have made a decision. And that decision is it's getting returned. Let me tell you why. First of all, it's way overpriced at $90. $40 maybe. The thing is so... The tubing, I could probably crease the tubing, just, I could probably just bend it in half. It's so thin. The center of balance, when you get the laser up, shoulder height or something, it gets really tippy. I don't trust it to hold that laser up there. You bump it, it could just go right over it. I don't often return tools, but that one is just unusable in my opinion. And I never would use it. I don't recommend it. So steer clear of it, and then you can thank me, the comedic carpenter. I'll see you on the next one, fellas and ladies and everyone else. Grandpas, grannies, invalids, the blind, the deaf, mutes, mutants. Who else is watching these videos? Uh, everybody. That's who. Everybody watches these videos. All right. That's it. I'm out of here. See you later.